Hi there. See that guy on the stool? That's me. I don't usually jump on the stools, stay there for a while like that, but what you're viewing is because I made a mistake. You see, I thought for sure that the floor was lava. It all started a couple of days ago when I was working on, in my office and I heard some children playing outside. They seemed to be having a good time and all of a sudden I heard one of them yell out, the floor is lava. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I know what lava is. I know it burns. And since I was wearing my good shoes and my only pair of feet, I jumped up onto the stool as fast as I could. I stayed up on that stool for two whole days. At this point, I fashioned a makeshift blanket out of old newspaper. Don't ask me what's in that green bottle. And that's when it happened. My wife came in with my son, and they calmly and coolly told me that the floor was not in fact lava, and they proved it by pointing out that they were standing on the floor and not being burned up, and also the stool that I was on was not being burned up, and that the floor didn't look or feel like lava. When I finally had the courage to get down, I felt like I was free. It was so good to walk around again and be myself. And I was so glad there wasn't any lava anywhere to burn up my good shoes or my feet. You know, God has told us what is real and what is true. He's told us things like the floor is going to support us and it's not going to burn us. And those are promises that we're able to believe in that we are able to receive from him and believe and understand it. And one of those promises that he makes is that we can have rest, that that rest is a good thing. Spiritual rest is something that he wants us to have, every one of us to have. And sometimes we choose not to believe that. We choose to believe something else, like we don't have time to rest, or if we stop to rest, something bad is going to happen, or we need to depend on ourselves instead of depending on God to provide rest for us and find our rest in something that isn't God's word or his sacraments that he's provided us. When we believe those false things, we're like a silly person who's stuck on a stool and isn't able to get off because he thinks the floor is made of lava. We're caught in a trap. We're caught in a lie. You and I, we don't need to live in a lie because Jesus has shown us that what God says is true. Jesus has shown us that what God says is what God really, really means. And he says that we don't have to worry so much about everything, but rather we can depend on him who does all things well. And we have space, we have time in our lives when we can take a deep breath, look into God's word and find real rest. So I hope that you and the people in your family are able to find that kind of rest through God and his word and that you're not stuck up on some stool somewhere thinking that the floor is lava. Rather, you're trusting what God has said to you and what Jesus has proved. Let's pray about this. We'll pray. I'll, I'll, I'll say a couple words. You repeat after me. We'll go back and forth. Ready? We invite all kids of all ages to join in this prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for promising us rest. Help us believe your promise to give us rest in you. Amen. Thanks, everybody.